Okay, so today it's June seventeenth, and it's the sixth meeting of a building Jenkins .io with alternative tokens. So um, let's go through the action items from last week. So first off, um, have you updated the script to fix things in Tor? Yeah, uh, I have created a new script too. Uh, for to creating the na navigation that Entora uses. Yeah. How about images? Yeah. Okay, do you think yeah, about Im Im yeah, yeah, I have I haven't started the images yet. Uh, because yeah. I was do I was I completed the tutorials and the solutions. On mm -hmm. the solutions page, uh I have some questions because when you go to the solutions page, uh yeah. it show it shows embedded articles on the right side of the page. Okay. So like, uh, how how does that work? And uh, what I did, I created a sidebar uh, on the top of the on the start of the page, hmm. with the embedded articles. Okay. But I wanted to know how does that embedded articles thing work? So maybe we can like incorporate it into Entora. Yeah, maybe we can. But um, do you have like um an example we can see? Mm, yeah, if you. Uh, if you go to Jenkins.io solutions uh, bit bucket, can you? Jenkins. Yeah, on the solutions page. Solution pages? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any one of them? Bit bucket. Let me try bit bucket. Uh, okay. This, this, uh, the thing that is on, on the site. On some other pages, it is embedded articles. On some pages, it is just this. Okay. So, um, oh, okay. So you, you're wondering like how to do it when there are two options to choose from. Yeah. Okay. Let me take a look. So I think, I think maybe, uh, this way, page four. So this one is a plugins list. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that's what it is. But if we go to um, if, if we go back, just click on um, say C C plus plus. It's one of the same. Let me check it. So it's like the class is plugins list. Which one is different? Which one is, is embedded? One? Embedded. I guess yeah. it was embedded. Yeah, Jenkins embedded articles. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have um. It doesn't have a class. So we can you can try to when you write a script you can try to look for a class. Oh. So if. Hmm? So yeah, I, no, class, yeah. Uh, uh, no, yeah, no dispute. I was going to say that I don't know that. So it's if you're detecting inconsistencies between the pages on Jenkins.io already, then I think that gives us reason to say, okay, maybe we should just declare that we'll be consistent and do something, do something that we think makes sense. So okay. embedded articles, should it be embedded articles? Whereas on Jenkins with GitHub, it says GitHub article. Okay, embedded. So the Jenkins with GitHub page has articles as well. But you say the Bitbucket page says plugins, not articles. Yeah. yeah. And it seems like we ought to choose one of those two, that there's a style, that there's a there's a, a thing that should be done. So for Android, it shows articles. And if we look at uh, Java, it shows plugins. So it's like, I'm not sure which, which one is the winning, but okay, articles for continuous delivery. Uh, on uh, yeah, we have uh, or we have on Jenkins with GitHub, we have both of them articles and plugin section. Ah, yeah. ah, right. Okay, I see. So there are and and Ruby likewise has both articles and plugins. 
so it's like one of, one of two times so either like like in this page so either we have like no class jenkins love github articles or like this one plugins list plugins list yeah um, but one, one way to to fix this is to um if we're allowed to um add a class to this like articles items here and we can like sift through them by class yeah but like uh how uh on the on the in the doc file i couldn't and i couldn't like uh understand or make it out how how this is generated from where are we getting this um do, do you have um uh, can we see the script you have for um for the links so i can tell we kind of um if, like um, uh, if you if you scroll down and just uh, like uh, open open this page on GitHub, you will see. Okay, hang on. Scroll down and improve this page, right? Yeah. Okay. Like uh, in this, if you don't have anything related to how that works, I think it is something with layout solutions because in all the pages with layout solutions, we have this. The layout mat and awestruck uses something with, uh, with layout. Yeah, so there is a there's a content under slash underscore data slash solutions that seems to be YAML files that are used in the that a YAML file that's def so content slash underscore data. Okay. Slash solutions. Okay. And here it seems that the contents of that right hand side are defined in these YAML files. So it's got articles. So when I look at embedded, uh, yeah, articles and plugins for some of them. Yeah. And others, no articles. And it looks like this is manually maintained, though, not, yeah. not maintained maybe, maybe, by uh, any automation. If it is manually uh, maintained, we I can just add it in the page itself. Yeah. Yeah, because these are just links. I'll create a sidebar. I'll create a sidebar that will create a restriction for this with the heading. Yeah. At the end of the page or at the start of the page. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So so here the, yeah the I mean the. So Chris, the the let's see, there was one that you just touched on that had videos in it. It was I think it's GitHub. No, no. no. oh here I can I think it was um was it embed? No, I don't remember which one it was. Let me try Java. No. So under Android and Docker, there are there are video links. And those, I think, are placed across the top of the page. Yeah. yeah. Android. But, uh, oh, here yeah, we have more. Docker. Yeah, so, so it's got videos. And this one is Docker. Is that the page? Yep, Docker. So we have articles, plugins, and videos. Yeah, the videos are on the top of the page. Right. Okay. There they are. I see them. Yeah. And there are certainly more videos that each of those solution pages would, would benefit on the current documentation from having those. Is it feasible for you to do that style of a layout? Because for me, I'm less concerned. These solution pages tend to be a a marketing or a pointer to other things i'm not sure i need we need to worry about them being uh versioned yeah i can i can update the ui uh to uh for, for to match this type of layout let me see so um
Look at those waves. Okay, so um, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, I have been opening tickets on Trello. Okay, cool. We have to move. Oh, we'll go through next. Yes. So, um, how about the get page? Oh, we have to. Get, have to yeah. get so we're using Gwen.com. We don't even need to do this anymore. It's, it's like uh, this one, I can close it out. Let's try to this one, not need it. So branches, yes. Next week, complete. Yes, I think I've done that. Yeah. So, um, let's see. I've raised up, I've submitted a PR for tutorials. Okay, yeah, I, I saw it. Okay. I'll look. I'll look at it tonight. Hong Kong time. So let me check. So, okay. So um, check this. So we have um. On the, we've done this way, right? so it's on the code review, so we're checking the assets. So is this on the code review as well? I don't know, I haven't created that one. Uh, uh, like, uh, uh, it is, uh, we don't have to uh, do something with assets folder. So I don't okay. I couldn't delete it. Oh, I don't think we can delete this, but um, I'll make it into you know, something else. So uh, update existing links. Uh, I have updated the existing links in um, uh, user docs and half of developer docs. I need to like uh, I need to check in. So I do, I'm not I'm not automating it on the complete folders. Okay. So this one's done, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. So add images or correct links to images. Yeah, I it I'll I'll complete it by um Tuesday. I'll complete it by Tuesday. Tuesday is uh, let me see twenty. Anything else? Let's see. Blue docs and tour. I think it's not not in not very clear. Use it. Uh, this, this, this is um, This is yeah. This one. So it's done. So how about this one? Yeah, I added I added both of these today. Okay. Oh, is it doing? Like, like extend. Yeah, it is doing. And this isn't to do. Yeah, like doing. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll start I'll start doing it. Okay, let's get them. So we get there. Okay. So agenda. So let's let's go to um conference. Let's action items. So how about us go to the the new tutorial the the new tutorials you have done. So do you want to share your screen and just walk us through? Uh yeah. Okay. But I have to show the tutorials, right? Yep. Yes, please. 
it is it is still in PR phase. So like when it, I thought we would we could see it from. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have to print it. Yeah, I noticed this too. Like, can we? Um, is there? Are you working on like getting rid of the errors? What? Are the errors here? Are you working on getting rid of all these? Uh, the these errors. Yep. Image these are the these are the uh, image link error, which which yeah. is not working. Yeah. Okay, so work. Are you working on that as well? Yeah, I it. I'm still. I'm still figuring it out. Okay, sure. Because like I I was searching if I was searching probably what Mark said uh, in the last meeting if we could uh, place all the images in one directory for each for user documentation and then reference that, yeah. which would like so I was I was searching that on the uh, in Entora. Okay. Okay. How does Antora support um, images and pages? It certainly must. It just assumes that the images are in the same directory with the source file. It it assumes it assumes that the uh, the you are you are following the given in structure that Antora provides with images in one folder that is named images. Okay. So I I'm searching if we can like uh, in I, if we have to I think we will we can change something in Antora.yml file. The configuration file to to so that Antora looks somewhere else for images. Well, yeah. but why not just follow their pattern? You're you're already having to make changes, aren't you? You're already having to do automated automated transformations from existing source to final. Why not just use their pattern and okay, we'll put the files in that in yep. in the directory they recommend so you don't have to do research on on their configuration yeah because because for for because on in the user documentation and developer documentation the images are a bit scattered yeah damn. the images are scattered all over the place so i was thinking if, if i can i can just uh, uh, download the images from github into a in a directory and reference that directory so that Antora searches for that and I, I'll just I'll delete all the unnecessary ones, which would be faster. But if I but I am still not I'm not getting a breakthrough. So if that I would start uh, I would start just porting them manually. If if it won't work, I think you can do it automatically. So why a script for you? Um, uh, autom- automatically I'll have. Um, yeah, if I if I could create a script with all the like all the links of the images with the name yeah. and yeah. then automate it yeah I'll, i i will try it i'll try it i think it's possible um this the files and yeah oh 
right well, uh, uh because since since it, it and it currently and tora is searching for the tutorial tutorial in on the main branch okay uh oh, do you want me to merge it now yeah yeah if you can yeah okay. hmm. yeah sure Jenkins dot okay. Okay. So it's on the main branch now. I'll have to fetch it again. Okay. Is it working? Uh, it's still not fetching the files that I have pushed. Um, did you pull? Uh, so, no, Endora, Endora haven't for fetch it. Oh, that, Just, that's good. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll try to. Uh, I'll I'll try so it, it, it because I I've been working with locally so I just fetch it from the file system so I'll try to do that. So I can okay. show it to you guys. Okay. Um, did you want to come on again? Okay. Yep. Because I only see the flashing. I'll hear that. Okay. Oh. 
Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I, 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 what's happening? Yeah. No, we can't forget to go there. Okay. Uh, Wow. This is weird. Okay. Uh, Chris, you have merged the wrong PR. Uh, yeah, it's that's why it's not working. Okay. You have merged. You have merged the extension directory, and I have to merge the add tutorial section. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's why it was not working. Hang on. Let me find it like that. Oh yeah, that's my one. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, done.
Is it working now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. It's not, I'll have to check. It's not showing the next page. Yeah. Option here. Yeah. Yeah. It should. Okay. Maybe you to open tech oh. it for me. Oh, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't updated that. I haven't updated the nav bar. That's why when we have nav on the side, then we see, when then we see all the, uh, see to the next page one. And also, 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 I have a question about this include partials feedback footer HTML. Yeah. Yeah, like it, it's added, it's added on the page. So, but I, as I proposed on the Gitter channel, maybe we, we could like have it. Um, we could I kind of like what, yeah, I kind of like the way it looked before because, like, right now, if you, if you make it sticky like this, so we, we cannot really see what's what's like on the net side of left bar before um, I what i can. was let me just show you what i uh oh. if I can. yeah I, that looks good yeah yeah i was thinking of the the feedback footer somewhere here with uh like uh you with uh option to like and dislike the page and if you want to suggest something you can you can I, I can update the UI to incorporate that. Uh, I I saw that in uh, many sites in Kubernetes sites site and some more sites that that's why. Yeah, we can try it. We can try it. Yeah. Well, so so the Jenkins.io site has was this page helpful? On on the end of the page on the footer. Right. So I uh, I was thinking if we can like add a uh, couch base also has it. Um, yeah, something like this. Is this page helpful? And for feedback, like we can like shift it to here because I was thinking I was thinking we can we can modernize our uh, footer while while making sure it matches on all the sites. Yeah. Nice. But, okay. But but since the feedback footer is on the page, we can like we we can move it. Yep. Agree. Yeah, and uh, also I was also I was I I wanted to like get your opinion on edit this page button like somewhere like here because we have so much we have so much white space here. This edit edit this page can be somewhere here, and uh, under that we can have the feedback footer feedback. Mm, I don't mind either way. How about you, Mark? Yeah, no problem putting it there in the top right. Oh, there. Yeah. So the place I'm using right now, it's in the footer and and hard to find, right? Improve this page. So putting it, I like it in the top right hand corner where you've got it. It doesn't feel like it uses a lot of space there, but if you put it in that in the content section, now above it does yeah, uh, we can put it under the content section or uh, above the content section. I would wanted. put it under just because I think contents is more useful to the reader than than oh you've got subsections. Ugh. Well, you can keep it right like as it is right now on the right top hand side. Yeah, we can do that, but I I, I just wanted to get your guys' opinion mm. because I, okay. I I I saw some other sites and uh having having it here. And I this this one is too too plain. We can uh I can add an icon before that and put it somewhere here. Uh I I prefer above the content section because on pages like on like uh, pipeline pages are so long that the content will push it down. Yeah. And since it won't take much space, it will just it will be just somewhere here. We can we can put uh, I can put uh all uh, improve the page and report a report a problem with this page here. And under that we will, we can have contents. Since uh we since the you user won't have to 
uh, scroll that much if he's just targeting the content to access the page. You can just like yeah, navigate like this. I wanted to know your guys' opinion. After that, I I will start working on it. I think it was if that is an icon. Yeah, we can add the icon. But um, whether we move it, um, Mark, what do you think? Should we move the add to this page button? I, to? I I I don't object. I I've I like edit this page at the top right, but. I think it's a valid thing to note that it's not just edit this page, right? It's also give feedback and other things. And so it won't fit in a single line anymore as soon as we have more than one item. So putting it under contents feels really good to me. I would not put it above contents because contents is much more frequently used by the, the reader of the page than is the I want to contribute more. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do yeah, that. So so I, I'll I'll implement it. I'll show it, show it, show that show that to you guys. Okay. So let me add an action item. So which is to uh, add to move added this page to below contents. Okay, and we add icon form added. Anything else you would like to show us? Uh, no, uh, the all of this, I, I could have showed you the solution page, but uh, I okay. I haven't posted yet. I okay. haven't, yeah. I mean, um, I, I, I so, so this, uh, this week I'll have to update the solutions uh, UI uh, layout to uh, incorporate the videos. Okay. And the images, uh, I I need to get I need to get done with the images part, and uh, third would be the feedback footer. Okay. So I'll fix the feedback footer. Okay. Redirect. Some some pages are not redirecting. I. Uh, and I'll I'll check how Entora redirects to the different pages. Okay. So fix redirection errors. Okay. Anything else we'd like to ask? Um. Yeah, I wanted to ask about the data table API issue that we discussed. Okay. Like, I it, I couldn't invest. I couldn't figure it out myself. Okay. Can you show us? Um. Uh, this was oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got time to look at it yet. Maybe I should do it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still stuck on that, and it was in. It was in. Okay, Can you send us a link for for this? Uh, yeah, I have shared it in the uh. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Let me go ahead and put this in the top. Yeah. yeah. 
I can only just see the header, uh, the headings of the table. Okay. Okay. Anything else we should need to discuss before we go? Yeah, uh, the um, pipelines, the product. Yeah, Mark, would you like to answer this question? Sorry, and what was the question? Forgive my not, not tracking the question. Yeah. Um, uh, it seems uh, or it seems this page is it seems this page highly depends on the JavaScript and like like uh, it is not complete it, it's not completely static. So I was thinking if we could build it with Gatsby. So uh, replacing this page, replacing this page is nowhere on my list of things that you need to do. <laughs> If no, you've no, got no. to uh, replace it, then I'm absolutely repeat. Gatsby is fine. We just can't lose the functionality. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the. I was thinking if we can build it with Gatsby. Thanks. And, and I and again, I don't object, but I feel like Vandit, you've already got an awful lot of work on your plate. Um, you've you've got more 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 work than than I worry can be done in the time we have. But if if doing this in Gatsby will help, I certainly don't object. Um. Yeah, time time is an issue too. Yeah, I think it's it's better to do it in Gatsby. Yeah. And again, no objection from me. What we can't lose is the functionality, right? If if we lose the ability to search for pipeline steps, then we have we have removed what we did last year in Google Summer of Code. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I, uh, I, I'll, I'll search about it. Maybe if we, if we can, like, um, Is since there, the, and, since the, since the page currently it gets built with, uh, um, yeah, uh, HTML. Like I, 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 I searched for Austrac documentation, but I couldn't found it. I so I don't understand. I, I don't completely understand how this works. But yeah. Um, I think it's in I'll, 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 I'll try. It's jQuery. Yeah. I'll search about it. Then I'll come back to you with the questions. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, will. And, and if we need to, we could certainly ask Vihan Thora, last year's GSOC student who implemented this, if if we need more guidance, Vihan, I'm sure is willing to join us and and have a discussion. But again, my worry is this thing, this thing is much less important than the version documentation. Yeah. Right? Getting docs.jenkins.io to be able to show documentation for Jenkins 2.401.1 is much more valuable than whether or not we touched, we changed this page. Yeah, we can like yeah, we can uh, use it as it is. Yeah. Yeah, that was what I wanted to ask. Okay, so it's not a priority, but we can do it later. Okay, yeah, I, I'll, I... I'll, okay, I'll add it. I'll take add it as a ticket, so okay. I don't forget about it. Yeah. Okay. Keep that progress. was all from my side. Yeah. Great. Good progress, really good. Okay, so what what do you plan to do next week? Um, next week, I I by next week I would uh, uh yeah by next week I'll uh, I'll be present in front of you with the presentation for uh, for July six, um, okay. and I would I would complete whatever th that is left in extensions. And okay. the images, like, yeah, the images. Then we, okay. then we would have completely functional uh, docs, docs 
version docs for user and developer. Okay. Yeah. Um. Do you keep track of like uh, what with what other changes like workflow wise or updating the docs? I mean, should we? Um, I, no. I like we like we uh, discussed. I would just uh look into the commits in the files that were changed. So I don't have to like uh check all the files. I'm not I'm not I'm not tracking them right now. Okay, no worries. So um as long as there is a way of doing it, it's fine. So sorry, I think it's important to get the scripts to fix the yeah. images and the lines up and running. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we'll meet again next week same time. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think it's, I don't think I have anything else to say. How about you, Mark? Thank you. Nothing else from me. Okay, so it's good. So good progress. So let's meet again next week. Yeah. Okay, let me pause recording.